Drax of the North, what prevented Roll to supplementing with vitamin D and K2 head? We just talked about K2. Many people put vitamin D together with K2. You even find the supplements used together a lot in the same pills, and it has to do with that calcium thing. Vitamin D is a major determinant of calcium. It also impacts kidney function as well. So of all the supplements that I use and recommend, vitamin D is the most important, very important supplement. They used to say that vitamin D is nothing but prevention of rickets. rickets is a bone problem. So again, you start getting into bones and, and bone metabolism, but it also impacts kidney function. And what evidence has come up over the past 20 years is that the old standards were, that we thought, you know, just 25 or above, that's probably still too low. The recommendation that you see more often, the recommendation that I would have would be a blood level of 60 to 90 for vitamin D. What are some other things that have come up about vitamin D? Some pretty solid evidence that vitamin D helps us decrease risk for or diabetes, prediabetes, has a big impact on a lot of other things. If you've been around, seen any of the news, haven't been hiding completely under a rock, if you've heard of a thing called COVID over the past couple of years, this is one of the areas where even the standard purveyors of medicine are coming out, Hopkins, Harvard, some of the other folks are coming out and saying, you really need to make sure you've got an appropriate vitamin D level, D3. In fact, what they found was those of us who had D3 levels clearly below 25, had greatly increased risk for the cytokine storm, the serious disease associated with COVID. So I hope that helps.